Then after you have great coaches, you get great players. You have a great organization. And you tell them one thing. What is good Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Alex. I am back with another video. In this video we're going to be talking about the week 5 matchup, the Las Vegas Raiders against another divisional rival in the Kansas City Chiefs. Before I get started on that, anybody that is new to the channel and you guys love Raiders related content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's jump right into it. Now the Las Vegas Raiders are coming off the first win of our season, our record being 1-3, but this game right here, this game coming up is going to be a huge test for this team, a showdown against our rival Kansas City. Kansas City is 3-1 coming into the season, coming off a very dominant win against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Sunday Night Football on prime time. Patrick Mahomes and this offense put over 40 points on the board. Look, Patrick Mahomes and Kansas City's offense, overall, they look dominant. And thus far, this offense has shown that even without their former star wide receiver in Tyreek Hill, this offense has not lost a beat. Now, the Raiders being put in a 1-3 situation, this is a really tough scenario for us because this is essentially a must-win game in primetime football against, as I said, a very good team in Kansas City. Mentally, I think the Raiders really need to come into this game with a sort of advantage over Kansas City. They, We need to really come out as an aggressor in this game. We need to come out more motivated to win this game, being a big underdog, and also just due to the fact that we do not want to go into this bye week one and four that'd be a bad situation for this team we need to really find out any type of way this team can get motivated have the mental edge over kansas city because look if kansas city loses this game end up going three and two is not the end of the world for them by the end of the day this is an afc west showdown the kansas city chiefs would love to beat us and historically too patrick mahomes has done very well against the raiders the raiders really defensively need to find a way to slow down patrick mahomes if we want any type of chance to win this game now quickly jump into the injury report for the las vegas raiders it looks like wide receiver hunter renfro he's still questionable at the moment but i anticipating that he will be back for this week after missing two weeks due to his concussion that he suffered against the arizona cardinals also denzel perryman it's still up in the air as whether or not he will be anticipated to play monday night against kc hopefully denzel perryman can return just because as i mentioned last week i really liked how our defense looked when denzel perryman was on the field they looked a lot more aggressive and you really saw the difference it made when denzel perryman was in there for run support if denzel perryman cannot return i expect linebacker blake martinez to get the call up just due to the familiarity he has with patrick graham when they were together in new york to be called up for this game now on the defensive side of the football, our defensive coordinator Patrick Graham really has his work cut out for him in this week's game. But the one thing the Raiders can really feel hopeful about when it comes defensively is the fact that Patrick Graham last year with the New York Giants, he did very well against Kansas City and limiting Patrick Mahomes. Now they ended up losing the game 20-17. But at the end of the day, for Patrick Graham to find a way to hold Kansas City to only 20 points on offense and to hold Patrick Mahomes to less than 300 yards passing, he only gave up one passing touchdown and they got an interception on Patrick Mahomes. That is very impressive. Now defensively, look, it's almost impossible to shut down Kansas City and this offense, especially when it comes to Patrick Mahomes. When when he gets into those off script, improvised plays, it, it almost looks like they're playing backyard football out there. It, it's hard to stop those. You just got to make sure those plays don't demoralize you as a defense. Keep sticking to the game plan but if Patrick Graham can replicate a similar performance he had last year with the New York Giants if he can find a way to just contain Kansas City and this offense and by doing so what I mean by that is just limit the big plays don't give them those big chunk plays make them work for their points make Patrick Mahomes be patient and drive the full length of the football if Las Vegas can do that they have a real shot to win this game because one thing we know with Kansas City is if you give up those big plays it's almost like this offense really thrives off those big pass plays. This offense really likes to be explosive and they thrive off of those big plays. If we can limit that, we have a good shot to contain them. Also, Travis Kelsey will be the X factor on offense for the Kansas City Chiefs. So Patrick Graham will have to find the right defensive matchup to pair up to guard Travis Kelsey, whether that be cornerback Nate Hobbs, Jayon Brown, 
whoever it may be, we have to find a way to stop Travis Kelsey to contain this guy as well. Let's make their other weapons on offense beat us. Not only do we have to find a way to slow them down on offense, but we also need to be aggressive on offense. Like I said in the beginning of this video, we need to be the aggressor coming into this game. And ultimately, we need to find a way to score touchdowns because field goals will not cut it against Kansas City. This offense is just too good, too explosive. They are just too good to be able to beat them putting three points on the board we have to keep up with them we have to put points on the board and a big part of that is the red zone the las vegas raiders we've had red zone issues for quite a while and for whatever reason we still have not found a way to be effective inside the red zone i think really josh mcdaniels at times he really needs to just simplify the pay call on inside the 20 throw it up to your playmakers use the run game and not only that too i want josh mcdaniels to be aggressive once we get inside the 20 there's too many times against denver where we're fourth and short if we can get a touchdown here it'll really help us put away denver and he was very conservative in the play calling he decided to kick a field goal look it was enough to beat denver but like I said in this game, I do not think it will be enough to beat Kansas City. If we get in those fourth and short situations, I really want to see Josh McDaniels be aggressive and go for it because we need to get touchdowns. Now, another battle that's going to be crucial in this game is the trenches. It's going to be a huge factor in this game. Our offensive line versus Kansas City defensive line. The Las Vegas Raiders, we are just coming off of a dominant performance on the ground. With Josh Jacobs running for almost 150 yards, Las Vegas as a team ran for over 200 yards against Denver. And as we saw, that really just helped our offense. It helped Derek Carr. Not only that, Derek Carr was using his legs. So I want to see him do that again. But will we be able to run the ball effectively against Kansas City? It'll be a tough matchup. That's why these trenches are so crucial. Kansas City's defensive line is the best in the league against the run. So this battle in the trenches will be huge. The Raiders cannot afford to lose on first and second down and be put in those third and long situations. Throughout this whole season, we have seen that we struggle when we are put in those pass obvious situations. Not only that too, this offensive line hasn't been great in those situations either. Kansas City's defensive line is really dangerous when you put in those situations where they can really just pin their ears back and get after the quarterback. Now, so far in this season, the Raiders in every single one of their games, you look at it, they have been able to run the ball efficiently. If you look at the yards per play when we run the ball uh, early in the season, for whatever reason, we we're going away from the run too early. But we have to find a way to be efficient running the ball in this game. We need to obligate Kansas City's defense to be honest. I say we need at least 70 to 100 yards rushing at minimum. Derek Carr too in this game I think he will have to show Kansas City that he can beat them down the field with big plays with his arms and take some shots down the field. I want to see almost like Derek Carr play with the same type of aggressiveness he did when we beat Kansas City in 2020 in that week 5 matchup when we upset them because I believe Kansas City coming into this game they will do their best to stop the run and that will likely mean that they'll be putting extra guys inside the box to try to shut down this run so i think the opportunities the one-on-one -on -one matchups will be there for the raiders to take those shots down the field and we have to really execute them we have to make them pay whenever they do that that way we can keep the defense honest they can play back a little bit and at that point this playbook is really open for us we can continue to run the ball pass the ball but if Derek carr and this offense cannot find a way to make kansas city pay through the air this will be a long game for this offense now, i don't want to say that Derek carr has to have the best game of his career to beat the kansas city chiefs i don't want to say that he has to outdo patrick mahomes because i don't necessarily think that is true and if that is the scenario i think we are at a huge disadvantage if that is a scenario i think this team is good enough to draw up a really good game plan against kansas city where we can run the ball effectively let's use that time of possession to help this defense out because in many situations a good offense is your best defense let's run the ball effectively use that play action for the deep shots to keep this defense honest but overall i think this game we are really going to need both sides of the football to step up special teams as well are going to have to do their part 
We can't be giving up 20, 30 yards on punt returns, on kick returns. Overall, this is going to be a tough game, but I do not think it's impossible for the Las Vegas Raiders to win. We are the underdogs coming into this game, but if we can find a way to win this game, this would be a huge statement victory for the Raiders, and this would allow this team and this coaching staff a huge confidence boost going into the bye. Overall, I hope this team can get a huge victory as we have the talent to compete really against any team in the National Football League, but just for whatever reason, we're still finding things out, and this team still hasn't been able to put it all together for a full game, and that's what it's gonna take to beat Kansas City. But Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below, who do you guys think is gonna win this game? Give me some quick score predictions in the comment section down below. And anybody that is new to the channel and you guys love Raiders related content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.